Oh. Oh god, they did do this. If, if she starts with DP, if you get hit with DP, she can't combo off. That is, they just shot her right in the heart. All right, folks, we are back and we have patch notes for Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. What a time to be alive. I have not looked at these. These have been out for, I think, about uh, seven hours or so at the time of I'm recording this. You see, it's about 1240. Oh, you can't see my clock, but it's about 1248 p.m. EST for me right now. So yeah, I think they came out at about 5 a.m., but I, I, I did not manage to uh, be around then. So we're getting to look at them now. Uh, so I, I haven't uh, I've tried to avoid any discussion or anything like that. I know people, I've seen people in the Discord server are definitely talking about them. But I'm, I, you know, I wanted to keep the surprise fresh. So let's see. Uh, obviously, version 1.3, Vayne joins the fight. That's the big, you know, he's, he's, he looks cool. He's a uh, big, big bonk uh, spear boy. No, I like, you like to see it. But obviously with him comes the large patch here that we're all interested in. So, uh, universal battle mechanics such as dash attack L and brave counter have been adjusted. Okay. Oh, grand bruise battle adjustments, guys. Okay, okay, that's great. I mean, I know, I, listen, I know some people get down with grand bruise. I never, I, I haven't put a second into that mode, but you know, it's, it's good, it's good. Uh, but yeah, so 6XL and brave counter, huh? I mean, 6XL, obviously, uh, been been very maligned since the game start. Probably a little too good. Yeah, probably a little too good. And then Brave Counter also, I think, uh, especially in, in the higher levels of play, causes a whole lot of heartache. So let's see. Let's see. New DLC character. Sure, Vayne's in there. Looks sure. Yeah, he, look, he looks nice. He got the busting haircut. You'll never uh, see me complaining. But okay. Uh, battles and updated m and online matches. Updated the command list of every character to reflect current battle adjustments. Sure. Combo practices. Network quality indicator. Displays. Maybe. Oh, yeah. This displays ping better. This. Uh, Sure, whatever. It's, it's some some online adjustments there, whatever. Add a notification on the main menu when you unlock a battle pass mission reward. None of us care about this. Uh, fix an issue where spectators be able to hear the character level up sound effect of the players they were spectating. Huh, weird. Uh, okay, sure, sure. Let's uh, Grand Bruise. Listen, I'm sorry. If, if you're really interested in Grand Bruise, we'll uh, you 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 you'll have to you'll have to read this over yourself. Unfortunately, it's not really it's not really my thing, and I couldn't even have anything interesting to say about it anyways. But yes, uh, adjusting out a new play. Ooh, bay, bay, God damn, new payback conditions. Sorry, right, my my. Um, Okay, sure, sure. Let's uh, let's get to there. You go. Battle and character adjustments. Here's here's that good stuff. So these uh, the site that makes adjustments to the universal action dash L as well as several adjustments to certain character skills. So here's the thing. So let's let's start with the big stuff. Six six L. Although useful as a gap closer, it was difficult to react to them, and the payoff for using them differed significantly between characters. Yes, for example. You know, near 6XL, uh, we'll get to near, I'm sure she's been touched a little bit too. Uh, but yeah, near 6XL, very good. She has she had a 6 frame uh, 2M or 5M, one of them. She can combo a medium off of her 6XL if it hit. Whereas, for example, someone, someone like Ladiva, right? The 6XL not only was pretty horizontally bad, but at the same time, they actually got nothing on hit, right? She got, like, literally blocking the 6XL was better for Ladiva than you than you getting hit by it. Because unless it was a counter hit, she got literally no uh, conversion, right? One, one, one way or the other. So they were, 6XLs are all strong, but they were definitely also not created equal. Uh, 6XL will now have more knockback when blocked, making it more difficult to continue applying pressure afterwards. Adjustments have also been made to characters who dash out were significantly different from other characters in terms of movement speed and reach. More knockback, that's interesting. Okay, so we'll have to see how that looks exactly, but that's, if anything, that might actually be worse for Ladiva, because I don't know if she'll still be able to do her 50-50 there between the command grab and the strike, right? I play Ladiva, by the way, if you're, if you're, if you're new to the channel, hello, uh, subscribe, all that stuff, but yes, uh, I wonder if that'll be actually more difficult for her, but... I assume, yeah, characters with 6XLs were, like, significantly better or significantly worse, maybe, in terms of speed and reach, are kind of going to be mediumed a little bit. This might be good, because, yeah, uh, I think a lot of times, too, space, just, like, 6XL, 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 cause a lot of trouble for people, uh, especially in some lower ranks. So more block uh, more block pushback there is probably going to be a big deal. All right, we'll see, we'll see. The, more knockback isn't, isn't very specific, but that's probably good. Okay, Brave Counter. Executing a Brave Counter while the opponent's HP was low would create situations making it easy to win via chip damage using skills. This felt unfair in some instances, so Brave Counters no longer deal damage once health is below a certain point. Ooh, okay, so Brave Counter is still going to be, if that's the only change they've made to it, it's still going to be a very, very strong defensive mechanic, but I think that's very intended, right? The offense in this game is overwhelming, right? Even Brave Counter is a huge risk sometimes, so I, they, they wanted to keep it that way. But this thing where, yeah, if you weren't familiar, if you had, like, below, it was like, I don't know, it, 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 the Brave Counter does about 5% of your health, roughly. So if you had, like, really low health, you could get Brave Countered into a hard knockdown, be in chip damage, and for some characters, it was literally checkmate. Right, there was nothing you could do. The brave getting hit with brave counter there meant you were dead. Meant you 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 were going to get hit with some long lasting uh, fireball on wake up. I think a good example of this is like I think Fairy's ultimate Gigi does this pretty well. Right, it just runs up to you and then it immediately triggers when it, once it gets to you and it's active for so long that if you were in a chip state there you just, you die you die and it's enough you could, it's like you could have moved out of the way because brave counter just puts you right in that position. So I think that's a good change. I think I don't think brave counter needed to be hit that much harder because again it's just. Offense is so strong in this game that taking the the one of the defensive mechanics and like nerfing it, even if it is probably too strong in its own, you have to think, you have to consider it in terms of the whole system, right? All right, character adjustments. So this is, is going to be the, the meat of things here. So let's see. 
Uh, characters that players felt had ultimate skills that were difficult to use or limited in scope have been strengthened. Okay, thumbs up so far. And skills that were difficult to respond to have been adjusted. We hope that this empowers more characters to have more tools in various situations, but we also ask players to understand these are not comprehensive adjustments. Further adjustments are planned for future updates. Yeah, we'll keep going, we'll keep going, okay. So, system-wide mechanics changes. Long so everyone's far L, hitboxes have been adjusted since some characters whiffed more easily when their opponent was crouching. I, I feel like Ludiva's far L kind of falls into this range, but we'll have to see. Uh, following up a, a far L or dash L would not chain into a combo for some characters, so input timing has been adjusted to be e earlier. Huh? I guess you can cancel. Maybe you can cancel some of them uh, earlier. No, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what this means. Uh, but I, 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 yeah, I guess maybe because, for example, Ladiva's far L, you only get a hit on counter hit. But I thought that was, you know, or a combo on counter hit. But I thought that was sort of intended. Maybe not. Maybe this could be a nice buff. All right, six six L dash L. The hitbox on the inner side has been extended to minimize whiffing when used as a follow up. Okay, sure. The hitbox on the bottom side has been reduced in order to make it possible to counter them with low hitting moves such as crouching L. Oh, okay, okay. So they can they can be they can lose to uh, sort of those. Because those are kind of the moves they would use to catch someone on their way in anyways, right? When they're not blocking low, you can catch them in the toes. Fair enough. Extended the hitbox during startup and active frames. Extended the hitbox during startup and active frames? Do they mean hurtbox? Because this they, 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 they universally buffed the hitbox of everyone's 6XL? That doesn't seem right. Right? So that, that makes me that makes me think that they, they mean hurtbox here, right? Because otherwise, everybody's 6XL just has more, uh, more, 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 a bigger hitbox during its active frames. Like, even, like, nears and stuff? Maybe, maybe. Uh, both players will be knocked back on block with the distance the opponent is not is, is knocked back being reduced. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Uh, okay, whiff recovery has been extended from 20 to 20 to 25 frames. Ooh, okay, recovery on hit on block has been unchanged. So there's still plus two on block, for sure, right, universally. This probably means if you maybe, if you spot dodge it, right? One of the big things with 6XL was spot dodging them worked if you had like a hard read, right? But that five extra frames of recovery, that's one, gonna make it a lot easier to whiff punish if people just like kind of do it belligerently, right? And they just, they just run up there. And two, it's going to probably make it a lot easier to spot dodge and punish them if you do that in neutral. Uh, if the opponent's health is above 500, it won't reduce their health below 500. Okay, so 500 is not very much. If you're not familiar, players, uh, characters have about 16,000 uh, health on average here. So 500 really is, yeah, it's like 5% HP. Right, but yeah, this basically means it can't put you in that because the way chip works is you have to be reduced to uh, zero first, right, and then or be reduced to basically be reduced to that one magic pixel by a special move or a brave counter or something, and then the next instance will kill you. So now it just can't get you to that uh, to that threshold. So brave counter is no longer a chip option, like we said. All right, Grand Six L got nerfed. Okay, uh, I feel like I feel like he had a yeah. So we, I, got, I also have I do have the guard the game pulled up here. I feel like, yeah, Grand, Grand definitely, you know, yeah, 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 pretty nice one. This is obviously the, the game as it is, I believe, unchanged. The patch is right now, the patch is going to come out on the 2nd, right? We just, the patch notes are out, but right now the game is still as it used to be. Uh, so yeah, Grand, I guess Grand 6L got touched a little bit. Seems like universally, uh, the really good ones, they're trying to touch, right? And uh, they're trying to, yeah, same thing with Jita's. Uh, Jita's, Jita's Far L apparently got the, that universal change where its hitbox got extended downward. Ooh, Catalina, I'm interested in, because Catalina feels like she is not very good. So let's see. Uh, her, her far L gets uh, it's ex extended the, her, the hitbox downward, sure. Frozen Blades, the, the heavy. The first hit now launches opponents when connecting on the ground. When clashing with another projectile, it will cause hit stun and reduce knockback distance. So that's a better, so it, reduce knockback distance means, uh, so let's, let's, let's pull Catalina up here and, and see what we're working with, right? So reduce knockback distance is going to mean that she's, uh, oh, sorry, uh, character select, there you go. No, get I can I can switch. There you go, quick menu right here. So let's let's get Catalina up on uh, up, up on stage here and see. So her, uh, we got the frame meter and all that stuff up here too. I I take this off usually for I use this to find uh, thumbnails and things like that. There you go. So like right now, Frozen Blade, right? So it on on the on grounded opponents. This is gonna launch, huh? She could get a she could get a combo off of this. I mean, could she could she already do something uh, in the corner with this possible? Right? Could she, if she if she had done this, could she? Yes, you can already. So that actually for for corner combos, that might actually be bad because if you don't know, combo limit starts counting up once you launch your opponent into the air. So for Catalina, actually something like this. I don't know what the optimal Catalina combos were, right? But something like that where um, basically her bonk. Stuff like that, where it didn't actually launch them up into the air until uh, until like really late in the combo, allowed her to play around with combo limit a little bit more. This launching on, on, on grounded opponents is probably bad in that case, but maybe in neutral, if you get tagged by that, it's good. I don't know. Actually, this I'm not entirely certain that I love that change, right? I feel like that's not super good for Am I reading that right? This first down launches opponents when connecting on the ground. Well, that's that's weird. That is weird. Reduce knockback distance. That's what I'm talking about. So uh, if I set Jita to block here, also let's set all of her, uh, her counter options off, please. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, not random. Off. Uh, eh. Action one. Sure, it's none right now. And then... 
I guess we can set it to action two because that's none. And then this one we'll set to action two because that's none too. So now once he hits us, yeah. Okay. So uh, if we set Jada to block here, so I'll, I'll basically universally all these EX projectiles are plus on block, right? Right there. So plus two. But uh, I guess Catalina was Catalina pushed too far to the point where she couldn't use her proximity normal. So that was happening there. Uh, that no. Okay. Yeah, so that was her far L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess maybe maybe this will keep her now in in range. That was yeah. That's her far M. Yeah, so maybe, maybe what happens now with the reduced pushback is uh, she'll she'll still be able to use her proximity normals, which is a lot better, right? Your close L tends to be a lot better than your far L, for example, right there, right? Five frame startup and plus four versus uh, six frame startup and plus one. That, so that's probably really good for Catalina's corner offense. I think it's one of the big things that she was really struggling. Like this character does not have any way to open you up in the corner, right? She's really good at neutral. She can win neutral 12 times and, and win the match that way, but that is not really a good win condition in Rising. It's not really how the game works. So her being maybe a little bit scarier up close in the corner here is probably going to be good for her. But again, that first hit launching on counter hit does not seem good. I'm, I'm, uh, it seems, uh, maybe I'm, Catalina mains. Of course, I, you know, I, I have a decent understanding of a lot of different characters from just having played a whole bunch of this game. I am uh, some, you know, in, up there in master rank with the diva, but like I, I am not exactly a Catalina specialist. So let me know if this is actually a buff. But that just seems for combo limit. I maybe she's not running into combo limit anyway, so maybe it's fine. But that does not seem good. Of course, and the U hit stop has been extended by four frames from negative two frames to plus two frames. Knockback has been reduced. Um, upon connecting mid air, opponents will now bounce. Uh, will now wall bounce even when towards the middle of the screen. Okay, okay. So this has, I guess, even first off, it has even more. So if we, if we just get uh, Jita in mid-screen here and we start throwing out the block and we do that, right? So I guess this has even more hit stop, basically, which probably is going to mean make it... I don't even... Does, does that make it easier to... Does that make it easier to, to hit confirm off of? Is that really the problem with this move? I mean, it's a giant... It's a giant pause already, but I suppose maybe, right? And then reduce knockback distance. That probably, you know, that probably means that, uh, you know, this is going to be... This is going to be pretty good in terms of making this a lot easier to confirm off of mid-screen, right? Because right now... It's kind of maybe maybe that's maybe that's doable from like that range, for example, from that round start range. It's really hard to actually get anything there. I'll say I guess reduce knockback distance. They didn't say on block, huh? For this one, like, did they say that for six XL? Bum bum bum. They said yeah on block. Hmm. Maybe maybe this maybe that isn't what I thought it was then. Cause I maybe maybe it's just a universal thing. Maybe it'll affect block and hits, right? So that's probably still good for both versions of uh, of the heavy frozen blade there. Cause again, if she if she got that on a uh, on a on a hit. Yeah, I guess maybe maybe it'll be easier for her to actually convert to something on hit there. Or I guess, yeah, probably not, probably not. But we, we, we shall see, we shall see. Uh, actually, how, how plus is this on hit? We're going we're gonna to be, be going pretty in-depth here, folks. So give me a second. Yeah, it's plus six. So yeah, maybe, maybe, she'll, maybe she will be able to convert to her medium normals even mid-screen, right? Yeah, oh yeah, because right now she can get far L, but that's not going to lead to very much. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good buff. Uh, and that same same pick for this one. And then upon connecting with mid-air, so it, it'll, it'll wall... Oh, excuse me, sorry. It'll, it'll wall bounce them even if they're... So if I, if, if uh, Gita's jumping here, right, and we hit her with that, it'll wall bounce them from all the way mid-screen, huh? And I guess that extra hit stop and, and things like that will give you a chance to, uh, yeah, it'll, yeah, so right now, uh, you see how she just kind of, right, oh, I'm so bad, sorry, give me one sec, right there, right, she flies into the wall, but she doesn't come back at us? I guess this gives you a corner, so this becomes actually a pretty scary anti-air option for Catalina, right? Because then even if she'll, she'll wall bounce off the, off the mid-screen there, even though you're not actually in the corner, and then she'll be able to probably combo your ass, so that's, that's good for her. I think, I think those are good buffs for Catalina, I don't know if that's like enough. I really don't think that's enough. Like, I think this ca this character is probably still quite weak, right? But those seem like good things. Again, the only the only thing is I'm, I'm still not so sure what the hell is going on with this. This does not seem like it's good for her. All right. Uh, Charlotta, holy ladder use. That's for ultimate DP, right? Extended the hitbox downward on startup, so now connects against foes performing crossovers. So you can't roll this, huh? I, I, there are some DPs you can roll and some DPs you can't. We don't have to look at that one. That's pretty straightforward. But yes, I, I guess that's good. Um, Charlotta also, I feel like a character that could have really used some some love in terms of, I feel like her, her offense is a little bit weak because it's down back right now. Right, yeah, She doesn't really have a ton of ways to open you up, kind of similar to Charlotta, which in a game with such oppressive Lance, uh, Lancelot pressure, I, mean, I was going to say oppressive offensive pressure, but then, you know, I was like, such as characters like Lancelot, it kind of hurts when Charlotta doesn't have a similar thing, right? Okay, this is, I mean, that's a buff. That doesn't feel like a whole lot. But I mean, again, I feel like, uh, so I, I made a I made a tier list a while back, right? And Charlotta wasn't, she wasn't like bottom five. She was like maybe bottom 10, right? But I feel like a lot of the characters, you know, they can kind of get some quality of life adjustments, which this kind of looks like it is. And then just like the, the, the very bottom and the very top can kind of be brought towards the middle. And that'll inadvertently help out Charlotta too, right? So, uh, looks like her, no no adjustments were made to her, her 6XL's range either. Okay, Lance 6L. Properties made similar to other characters prevent advancing during recovery. Uh, properties made similar to other characters to prevent advancing during recovery? What the hell does this mean? Does this 6XL currently, can he, like, I, I have to check this. Maybe this is something that's, uh, universally known and hated about Lancelot, and I've just somehow managed to miss out on, but, like, does his 6XL right now still move? Oh, I see, I see. It's still kind of, like, even, it has a little bit more forward momentum, possibly, than other people. Or, like, even after the, the actual attack comes out, he still kind of is moving forward a little bit there. Is that what that means? I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not certain, but I guess it's probably it's a nerf to how long his 6XL is gonna reach, right? 
Um, ooh, okay, you, Wogenstrom. What, which one is, is that, is this this one? I believe it is, right? I believe uh, Wogenstrom there is his, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's, no, actually, no, Wogenstrom is the projectile. Oh, my bad, Blade Impulse is this. So this now starts up slower, is that right? So if you hit him, if, if it's right here, yeah, right now it's 15 frames, it'll be 18 frames. So I guess it's a pretty, it now gives you a pretty beefy window to perhaps interrupt Lancelot in the startup of this. It's still not reactable, I don't think, right? I'm not sure. I'm not. I, like, I, I, that, I feel like this move is still really strong, right? Basically, it doubles. If you don't know, once Lancelot hits you with this, even if you block it in the corner, right? This doubles the startup frames of all of your moves. It doubles all of your frames, right? So this makes you twice as slow, which means Lancelot just gets to absolutely run a train on you in the corner here once he hits you with that. So I guess maybe that's what they were going for there. Uh, is just make it, make this maybe give yourself give you a gap to punch him out of it, but I still feels very very strong. Uh, Blade Impulse, recovery time on Whiff has been extended for by 9 frames, from a total of 38 frames to 47 frames. Uh, I guess this is if you jump over it, right? Because this move, I mean, this move doesn't Whiff, right? Like, if you're, if you're over, if you're anywhere on screen, this move is going to connect, right? So I guess the only thing is, if you now, if you jump this on reaction, then you get an, a much easier time at punching him. Because I suppose right now, uh, what, what, how minus is he right now if, if the person jumps it? If we set Jita to, no, nope, not on all this, just jumping. No, nope, just, just jumping, don't mind me. Uh, there you go. Uh, actually, that's set at a high jump, so it makes it easier for me to, to actually miss here. So right now, he's minus... Yeah, it looks like he was minus 37 there. Now he's 36, I guess. Oh, yeah, they did say 38 frames to, to 47, right? So I guess it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's good, I guess. But this is, again, this is not a lot. It looks like this... Uh, so far, the uh, the general vibe I'm getting is that this patch is not a huge balance patch, right? This is not them really trying to shake the game up. Because he's like, you know, Lancelot is worse now than he was before the patch. Is he still, like, one of the best characters in the game? Is he still probably... Is his offense still probably a little too oppressive? Yes. But, okay, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Let's let's keep going. Per okay, Percival, this is good. Yeah, seeing a long list like this, unfortunately, Percival, I won't be able to speak on very much. He's one of the characters that I know the least about. But also, he's probably the worst character in the game, or at least up there, right? Or down there, I suppose. So it's good to see him getting a lot of love here. His close L has got the extended hitbox downward, universal change. His back throw has reduced the distance between the foe after a successful throw. Okay, sure, maybe that helps him get some Oki a little bit easier off of that thing. Okay, I, we, we gotta we gotta take a look at his uh, move list here, because uh, unfortunately I'm unfamiliar with what uh, all these all these fiend rock knights, you know him and Lance and Siegfried and things like that. They've all got the German names on their stuff. I just don't know what Anzunsen is, so we're going to have to take a quick look here. So Anzunsen is this fireball. Okay, so the U version, the bet. Oh, it's this flame carpet. Okay, okay. The bed of flames now inflict damage from coming into contact with guard points other than the characters. Huh? So he, he, he this will this will just even if you're using like. Uh, Ladiva's Headbutt or Vasaraga's Ultimate U or something like that, you'll still take damage from this. So this becomes like a very... like it's, it's, it's Basically, a DP is the only way... To, or, or Super Skyman, or this is going to kill you, uh, or this is going to put you in chip, at least. This is like the only way to, to survive that at that point, right? When used near the edge of the screen, the Bed of Flames now deals damage towards the middle of the screen. Is that so? So, like, for example, right now, so if, if we just... Uh, if we go over here, right? And we do this. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, that's so sad. That's how it works right now. Yeah, when he's just in mid right, right here, the flame carpet's basically off, off screen, right? So he completely use, loses the utility of the move. But if you don't know, this like basically just continually uh, burns you and does some damage there. Uh, the, obviously, the tutorial is just full healing everybody. But yeah, so when he did it in the corner here, it did nothing. Huh? So now they're going to move it back a little bit. Okay, that's, that's a good update. Makes the move a little bit more useful in a lot of different uh, scenarios. So that, I, I guess that's I guess the, those are both, probably both good. This is probably a little this is probably a little specific, right? The, the whole guard point counteracting thing, but it, it still probably it wasn't working against DPs still because that's just a straight invincibility, of course. But it's 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 a buff. It's a buff. Uh, Schneiden. Schneiden. Hello. What is Schneiden? Uh, Schneiden is oh okay. I see. It's off of his his uh, his dash there, right? So the low here, right? What do they what do they say about it? Uh, it's activates now sooner now at five frames instead of seven frames. Okay, sure. Uh, so that, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a faster move. Maybe he can even, I don't, I don't know if he can use this in any combos now, or if it makes some combo routes open up, but it's also just, you know, it's nice, it's just a nice quicker, a move being faster like this is never going to be a problem, right? So that's probably a problem. I, I, again, unfortunately, I can't speak on personal with too much authority, but that, that's a buff. It seems like a good buff. It's two frames, big deal. Uh, Zerisen H, damage delta, delta the tip has been increased from 2400 to 2800, and damage delta the base has been increased from 2700 to 3500. Those are big numbers. Those are, uh, the big, 400 and 800. That's like basically an extra, an extra hit of an auto combo or something could matter what is Zerisen though uh, is that his dp maybe that is no uh, oh oh no it's 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 what is it actually is it not his dp i don't see it anywhere here is it oh is it his unique version no well, that's that's not it either is it uh his skybounder yes oh no it's ultimate skill i see i see it's called wait why is why is this oh i see, I see. It, it's uh it's this one yes yes it's there you go there you go when used during a Tramurai enhanced Lord Strike, so that's his stocks here, right? So we can we can we can stock up a little bit here. Uh, I think if you if you ex you stock up all the way. There you go. Uh, so this heavy version, right, does more damage now. Which this all this already was a was a pretty beefy hit. At least especially it, it does more damage with stocks, right? 
yeah. So that that right there uh, is gonna do is gonna do more damage, I suppose. Uh, I guess you can you can you can stock burn it in a way that I'm unfamiliar with. Again, I'm sorry, Percival Mains, but I don't know I don't know your I don't know how your mains works. So that does more damage, and the U version does even. Whoa, huh? Damage has been increased from 2,800 to 6,000. From 3,000 to 8,000. Huh? Am I missing something? I, 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 I'm, I'm honestly unsure. I'm, I'm unsure. I, I don't know. But that, that is a, that is a big number. I, sure, man, sure. Percival now has a fucking nuke. They, they, they said we'll give, we'll just give Percival a gun. Uh, that uh, Percival's the worst character in the game. Don't mind me. We're just, how about we just give him a gun? We get, yeah, Percival has a gun now. That's the you follow up off of off like so again I'm sorry I'm, I'm not uh, seemingly I don't know how to uh, properly buff this up there, um, yeah like I don't know that does that does six that does eight thousand damage now if you hit so it looks like it does more damage yeah it does more damage if you hit if you hit the uh, the base than the the tip right seems that way right I got I got a cinematic oh it's because because I, I have the, I have the stocks yes of course of course yeah so it looks like oh I guess because it, it burns all the stocks now I see I see. But yeah, still, like if Percival stocks up and hits you with that, you just you just die. I suppose. For for reference, again, characters have sixteen thousand health. Eight thousand is half your HP. It'll be scaled in combos if you use it. That's still a massive, massive buff. God damn. Okay. And then the light version uh, of of the or light version of the charge, active time has been extended from nine frames to eleven frames, and recovery has been reduced from twelve frames to ten frames. Frame advantage has not changed. I see. So this made it they made it more active and less yeah. So more of this is a hit and less of it is recovery. So it's not gonna be more plus on block, but it's gonna be better as like you know if you're trying to, to I don't know if you use this, this in juggle combos or something like that, but it's gonna be better across the board for him. It's just it, it like it, it's active for longer and recovers for less, so it's it's harder to whiff punish, etc. etc. That's good, I think. That's good. All right, well, I mean, I, I would say those are pretty good changes to Percival, right? I mean, maybe he still needs more, honestly, because he wasn't doing so hot. But, like, what the hell is this? What the, what in God's name is, I, am I misreading that line? Like, I, I guess... Oh, 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 I see, I see. I am misreading that line. I, I'm sorry, sorry. I took the mis... So, right now, at max stocks, it already does 6,000. Now, it'll do 8,000. So, it's not a... It's not... I, I was doing this as a 3,200 damage buff. No, I see. The damage used to scale at no stocks, it'll be 2,800. At max stocks, it'll be 6,000. Right, and now at no stocks it's three thousand, but at max stocks it's eight thousand. Right, so again, still a big, big damage buff there. Still a big bit. Don't get it twisted. Right, still a big damage buff uh, for all. Of, again, the stocked versions scale linearly, I assume. Right, so it's still a big damage buff, but it's still, still meaningful. So hey, this is all. I mean, these are good changes to person. I think this will help. I'm not sure if these will like suddenly make him, you know, a great character or anything. But I think this will. This is like this is the, a step in the right direction for sure. All right, Ladiva has four changes. Again, I, I said this in a video at some point. I can't remember if, I, if it comes up before this video or after, but. I actually, before I look, I'm not looking at these, I'm not looking at these. Lediva, I think they unironically should not buff very much because Lediva is like bottom five in, in like tournament level play. But if you are like S plus or below, which is where 90% of the player base is, the character is actually like top five to top 10, depending on how low down there you are in the ranks, right? So it's like, we're talking about buffing the equivalent of like a Belial, or not Avatar, like like regular Belial, who's probably about top five in the actual game. Lediva is that in like, or not, not in the actual game, sorry, in like the high level game, the tournament, in the actual tier list is what I meant to say. In, in the in tournament level, Belial's like top five, Lediva is that for like most of the game. So I don't think they should buffer very much. Let's see what they did. Far down gets extended its hitbox downward. Okay, yeah, I was when they when they when they said that something's whiffed on crouchers. I was definitely thinking of, of Far L doing that sometimes. Two uh, H. The second hit now launches opponents when connecting on the ground. Huh? That's interesting. That could that could cause for some combo routes. And and also sometimes uh, right now when two H hits on a grounded opponent when you like do it a little too late and you maybe anti air them you hit them with two H but it's one that once they already landed it's actually punishable on hit as stand so you have to cancel it into a special or you die. Now this might even get you a combo. That sounds okay. Crouching, crouching H. The second it now launches opponents when connecting on the ground. Ladiva's combo game is not really where she needed help. I don't feel like, but sure, sure. Uh, Headbutt of love is now a little bit quicker. That's fine. That's her anti projectile move, right? So that's that's useful. And then Devoted Body Slam, extending the distance of the throw forward, and Lediva can now grab opponents right before they land. Ooh, okay. So that's her, uh, very quickly, we can take a look at, at this. Um, bum, 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 Lediva, right? So Devoted Body Slam is, uh, is, is this one right here, right? So, so this now, it, it, it has a bigger hitbox forward, and apparently can grab people, like, in, in those sort of pre-landing frames, which is always good stuff. This move is pretty unreliable, in my experience, so to make it, uh, to make it even, but it is also with this, right, that, this, this ultimate version right here, is Lediva's fastest anti-air option at six frames, right? So, uh, to make that a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker is definitely nothing, uh, or a little bit bigger and a little bit more reliable is definitely not a, uh, gonna go awry from me. Honestly, that's more than I would've expected. 
Like I said, for example, look at this right now. That's minus four on hit. It's not punishable on hit, but it's minus on hit, right? But yeah, the fact that it'll, that'll now launch on hit is pretty interesting. And again, it could it could lead to you know God, who knows who knows what combo shenanigans Leva could get. Can she uh, can she can she do two uh, H after the headbutts? I don't think she can. I don't think she has enough frame advantage for that. But no, she can't. Yeah, so it'll it'll be it'll you have to figure out something else, but. I'm not sure. I'm not. It, it, they seem like interesting changes. Again, Liriva, I was not expecting. Far L is honestly like her her best neutral tool, and it's and her, she has her neutral is the worst part of the kit. So making Far L a little bit more reliable, I, I will gladly take that. And the rest of this, the headbutt of love also helps out with neutral, helps out with uh, dealing with projectile zoning. Right? It's 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 good stuff. It's again, I, I didn't expect tons of changes there. And what, what I honestly, the one thing is, I really would have wished that they, you know. I wish they would have made this move a little bit more reliable. Because right now, the armor on this move does not actually last all, all the way through. You can hit her out of the startup of this if you wait long enough, right? And that just feels so bad when, like, it's already not a meterless DP. It already loses to throws. It already is very spot dodgeable to punish, right? But then you can also sometimes just clip her out of it if you time it well. So I would have wished that they would have made that armor that last the entire move until the recovery, but oh well, oh well. Again, it's, it's, I, I did not expect or want very many buffs, Lidiva, so it's fine. All right, let's, let's go here. Matera. Uh, Matera can now be followed up, her long range L can now be followed up sooner from cr from close range L. Crouching L and dash L. Long range L can now be changed into the above actions into a combo. Okay, okay. So Matera's uh, combo conversion ability is a little bit better, I suppose. That's good, right? Matera definitely, um, I mean, zoning in this game is, is just not very good, right? Because of, I mean, ultimate skills in general, and there's so many characters have so many good gap closers and things like that. So it, it's, any, any buffs to Matera are obviously they're bad for Ladiva, but I think, I think she, she could use them for sure. And Starry Sky L, the high and low. Matera now launches opponents on startup when connecting on the ground. Which one is Starry Sky L? I'm afraid I'm not... Uh, again, Matera also a pretty rare character. So not somebody that I run into a whole lot. I don't even know where she is in the character list. There she is, right next to the diva, actually, as it turns out. Uh, Starry Sky L, sorry. Which which one which one are you? Oh, it's it's the it's the projectile. Starry Sky High and Starry Sky Low, actually. Yeah, both of these. So what what, what was the what was the adjustment for this? La now launch the opponents on startup when connecting on the ground on startup. So on startup? So like there's a there's is there now going to be so the projectile is not gonna launch, it doesn't seem like. But like on startup here, there's going to be there's it's gonna launch people into the air. So that could potentially, I mean, that's almost certainly something for like maybe something in a situation like that, right? You would get a combo off of that right there. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. So Matera's, yeah, like they, like that, actually basically pulling the bow up, it launches you and then the arrow uh, knocks you up and she gets a combo. That seems like a pretty decent buff, actually. That seems like it probably could uh, lead to some big damage for Matera in the corner. And the Great Fall extended the hitbox downward on startup, so it now connects during crossovers. Is that her DP? I believe so, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. So this, yeah, this DP already, uh, this, this hitbox, I think sometimes you could crouch this. Like sometimes you could straight up crouch this and it would whiff, depending on, on certain situations. So yeah, the extending the hitbox downward in general there is definitely a big deal for Matera. I think those are, I think those are good buffs. I think those are good buffs. Uh, Loane's far L just gets extended his hitbox downward. Loane, I think, is a perfect example of a character who does not need changes. He's pretty good. He's not top tier. He's pretty good, right? So he, he just all the ner all the top tiers can get nerfed and get a little bit closer to his level, right? And then he'll be just fine. So this just have this universal far L change here, I think, is fine. Uh, Fairy, her far L again can now be followed up sooner from close range. Similar things to Matera, giving them easier combo ability. I suppose that's good. That's good. Uh, and then Beppo Sikkim, uh, that's her DP also, extended the hitbox downward. It does not connect on crossover, so they very explicitly say that. But again, yeah, I think this one this one also still had some problems sometimes with getting crouched and things like this. So fair enough, fair enough. Uh, some some buffs to Fairy, not a whole lot. But again, maybe maybe this is maybe this is a really big deal, and I'm not giving. I already said this was a good buff. Maybe it's an even bigger deal that I'm giving credit for, right? So Fairy and Matera, both of these owners, they're getting getting some good dedicated buffs there. Uh, Zeta, no nerf. No nerf to her ultimate skills, huh? I guess they did only say that they, they said they were making ultimate skills that felt too strong, or too weak, sorry, better. They said nothing about nerfing ultimate skills, right? God damn, okay. Well, extending the hitbox downward, reduce distance traveled uh, for her 6XL. So her 6XL gets nerfed, and her 4XL gets the universal buff, that's fine. Vasaraga, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very surprised to not see any nerfs to her ultimate skills, right? Her, uh, her two... Uh, the, the one where she, like, basically the dashes that lead into, like, 70% of your health that she hits you with them in neutral, right, in mid-screen. But, again, maybe that's not the philosophy they're going for. If they're not nerfing that much stuff, I'm very curious to see what they do with Nier. Now, we haven't gotten there, right, but obviously Nier is, they're near the bottom, the bottom of the character list, and it's going to be very, very curious to see what they did with her. Uh, I'm also looking at, like, like, they did not touch Lancelot. I think Lancelot's really strong. Nier, Belial, Siegfried, um... Seox, right? We haven't... Uh, Cagliostro, kind of. We haven't seen any of these characters yet, and I'm very curious to see what they're going to do to them. So, Vasraga... Oh, okay, this is good. Vasraga needs it. Vasraga needs help. He's like Percival, I think. He's in contention, maybe, for worst character in the game. Like him, Avatar Belial, Percival, right? So, I, the, seeing all this is good. It's a good start. So, let's see. Uh, close range L can be formed e earlier following the crouching L, so it's easier for him to combo into that, I suppose. Long range L can be formed earlier following the short range L or crouching L, so again, combos. 
That's good. That's good. He, uh, Vasaraga's uh, combos are very complicated, very difficult to pull off. Uh, for like sometimes good reward, but this maybe could make uh, give him some easier combos from people to do. It might not still be the optimal stuff. Right? But it'll at, least be, it'll at least make it so you don't have to do you know all these crazy uh, brain breaking links to actually do like a decent combo with Vasaraga. His dash M. That's the overhead, right? Extend the hitbox during startup downwards. Hit crouching foes at 22 frames. Previously hit at 25. Okay, so it's three frames start uh, faster for all intents and purposes. That's good. Savage Rampage is the big steppers. Uh, all follow-ups cannot be performed four frames earlier. So off of this light? No, no, okay, I see. Off, off the in in the light version of the stance. All follow-ups cannot be performed four frames earlier. So he can, he can go into it way quicker. Medium is now six frames earlier. Uh, and then heavy, when connecting from the ground, the skill now forces standing hits up. That might... Oh, yeah, because his... You know what? This is good because I think um, his light follow-up out of that move and maybe a couple of other things whiff on crouchers so getting hit with savage rampage h here the the ex steppers as it were is going to force you to stand to make sure that all of his stuff connects that's probably a good thing right uh, maybe it's it's better for him to use in, uh, in in different combos or if he catches you with it or something like that so that's good uh the march change command from forward forward to just forward and can be activated by holding forward sure a little bit easier to march forward in savage rampage i suppose and you can trigger it quicker now i guess too so that's good you, so you don't have to worry about how fast you can input dash or hit a dash macro or something you just hold forward it makes it Easier to do, I suppose. Uh, Vostra can now cancel Savage Rampage by tapping or holding down the block button. Interesting. Okay, okay. And then Great Scythe, this is the uh, the air throw, right? Deals the same amount of damage and gains the same amount of SBA gauge when chained into during a combo. Does not scale. Oh, huh? this thing is that. That's that's bigger combo damage for Vasaraga there. This is not usually his his desired combo ender, I don't think. Because it doesn't give him Soul Forge, right? It doesn't give him enough frames to actually uh, reset his Soul Forge in the corner. But I guess, yeah, at least now you can choose between doing more damage or doing more, uh, or getting your Soul Forge back up. If you want to kill, maybe this could help out. And the U version, this is DP, fix an issue where the SBA gauge penalty wouldn't activate in certain instances. Oh, okay, so it's probably a nerf inadvertently, but it's, it's more of a bug fix. Uh, this seems like good stuff. I mean, Vasaraga's stance is definitely the best part about him. So all of this being made better and more consistent is probably good. Uh, that's that probably helps. I feel like I really wanted. To, I wish they would have made it so that his uh, his big steppers here. Right now, if you cry, if you manage to cross up Vasaraga in one way or the other, example, if you're Cagliostro and you have a teleport that does that for free, right? Uh, he just doesn't turn around, so he just he, the the move becomes worthless. I wish they would have done something about that, but oh, the, the I think he's a lot better now. I think he's he's a lot, I think this this is all like the, making his combos easier and making his clar his close range L. Um, Easier to combo into as well. A little bit making his overhead a little bit. Uh, he can close out rounds maybe a little bit easier here with like a, a sudden overhead call out if you're not ready, right? His, his stance is probably significantly harder to just throw him out of, which is what uh, people would do a lot of the times if they had uh, a quick trigger finger and you got into that anywhere near them, right? Uh, this is quality of life, I suppose. Same thing with uh, well, on, this. This actually could be some some really good changes depending, right? Um, yeah, so so I, I think this is good. I think this is good. I think uh, Vasaraga needs like again. I don't, is this enough? That's kind of my whole vibe with this pack so far. Is that I don't feel like anything is enough. But also, who knows? We'll see, right? Uh, again, everyone, everyone. Some people getting universal nerfs. Vasaraga 66L is horrible. So everyone 66L getting a little bit worse, right? That could help him out, right? You have to think of not just the changes made to the character, but the, the system changes and context and how that might help him out, right? Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I, I, but well, well, let's let's move on. Uh, Narmaya's 66L reduced distance traveled. That's it, huh? Okay, no changes to Narmaya. I think Narmaya is on the cusp there of that border where she's a character that I feel like she could just get quality of life updates. She's not the best character in the game. She's maybe also slightly on the lower end, but she's good. She's good, right? So she, I, I was not expecting a whole lot for her, and we didn't get a whole lot. Sora's, I'm expecting some minor touches to maybe ultimate impact knuckles, but let's see. Uh, long range L is again the universal thing there where it's easier for him to combo. Yep. It can be, he can combo off of close L or crouching L into far L and get a combo. That's pretty good, right? Uh, his dash L has been nerfed. He has a really, really, really good one. And he gets a lot of reward off of it, so that's good. Uh, no longer draws in foes sent flying when hit from behind? Hold on. No longer draws in foes sent flying when hit from behind. What does this mean? <laughs> when hit from behind? So... It... Because this is... So, okay, sorry. The reason I'm confused... So if we, if we go to Sora's really quickly, right? This is his, obviously it's the big ultimate dash punch. It's the crazy move. It, it's it's armored, it's safe on block. And it, it leads into, it leads into, it leads into big combo, right? Oh, is it, is it not four? Oh, it's, uh, it's, what? Huh? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, there you go. It's this move, right? So no longer draws in foes sent flying when hit from behind. What the hell does that mean? How do you hit someone from, when, when this move is hit from behind? How does this move get hit from the, it's a big charging forward move. I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what that means, but I don't think that's a, like, I think that's probably like some weird edge case that happened with the move. I don't think they actually nerfed it very much. 
Roundhouse Fang. Uh, so this is his DP, right? His, me his, his meter to DP, because that's not a meterless one. Extended hitbox downwards. The skill now hits opponents during crossovers. Okay, so they, they, a lot of rolls universally, they wanted to not be able to just uh, be rolled through. You have to spot dodge them as a, as a call out, or you have to block them, right? Uh, they don't want you to just cross up for free, I guess. So yeah, not not a whole lot of changes to swords. Again, they don't. Uh, I, I this is this seems more like a bug fix to me. Uh, they they don't seem like they're in the moods to nerf a lot of ultimate skills. So, all right. Uh, Zoe's long range L looks under the hitbox downwards. UL's dash L got nerfed. Andre, interesting. Andre very under underrepresented. So let's see. I don't think he's that weak, but uh, he is underrepresented. His long range L gets his hitbox extended downwards. Sure. Rakshasa U reduced damage dealt from 2600 to 2100. Uh, adjusted knockback animation. I like Andre more time to form a follow-up. Excuse me, sorry. I got uh, my uh, my breakfast coming back up to say hello here. What what is what is Rakshasa? Is that his? Uh, is that the parry? I'm actually not. Or is that the spinning move? I think probably right. Uh, Rakshasa. Oh no, it's the it's the it's the spear thrust. I see. This does less damage now, but adjusted knockback uh, animation. Andre more time to form a follow-up. So. It, it, it does less damage, but you can maybe even combo out of it a, lot, a little bit easier. But you can already combo again. Andre, unfortunately, quite the the rare character, right? But yeah, I guess maybe you can he can get a combo off of that now. So overall, even though the damage was nerfed, there, this is probably a buff, right? Uh, Reduce recovery time when blocked, and the opponent's hit stop has been adjusted, changing frame disadvantage from minus six to minus two. So that so when whiffed is unchanged, yeah. But that is basically it's safe on block, right? The six frames is punishable depending on where you are. I mean, the pushback probably already made it decently safe most of the time. But so, you know, it means people also would have a harder time like taking a turn on Andre necessarily if they block that. Uh, reduce recovery time on landing a hit. So Mantra Wheel, this is his, uh, this is his like dive kick, I think. I'm not, I'm not very familiar. Yeah, yeah, so this is, yeah, it's, it, this is the, yeah, this thing. So Mantra Wheel, oh no, but yeah, it's, I think it's only a dive kick as the heavy version. Yeah, yeah, so it's, this is the ultimate version they changed. Reduce recovery time on landing a hit by two frames, extending the window for follow-ups by two frames. Okay, so I guess it's easier to combo if you hit somebody off of this. And reduce recovery time on blocked by two frames, sending it to plus four. Reduce recovery time on whiffed by five frames, shortening it to 59 frames. I think that's still pretty bad. <clears throat> but I guess he does he does go sailing off into uh, into a different country here. So I guess if it whiffs, he's not he, he's, he could actually be meaningful, those five frames, right? Hard to say. But yeah, like I guess this is can you get is this like an anti-air callout, I suppose, right? Like can you could you even get uh I guess, yeah, I guess I guess something like that, right? But I, when do you ever hit people with that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, and send seven spears of lightning, fixed initial where projectiles wouldn't activate during a combo in training mode. Okay, sure. Yeah, this is the move they used to break the game, right? So I guess maybe they accidentally broke something there. Uh, I, I, Andre, Andre players, Blast Tambor, if you're watching this, let me know. I don't know I don't know what this means. I don't know if this is necessarily super, if any of this is super meaningful. This seems good, right? Like, it, it does less damage, but then maybe you can get a combo off of it. That seems pretty good, right? So uh, those are buffs, I think, overall, for sure. Uh, Eustace, no changes. Uh, Far L gets his hitbox extended downward, sure. Seox, here's one of the interesting characters. Uh, let's see. Farlow gets six box expanded downward. Universal buff there. Not really anything too surprising. Gate of Demons on the ground. When connected from the ground, the first hit now launches the opponent. The opponent is now knocked higher into the air, and projectiles now disappear upon getting hit. Is this uh, is this his Gamma Blade? Oh, again, a lot of the a lot of the moves uh, for this game. I don't really know what they're called. I just have my own name for them, and then I go from there. So I'm not I'm unfamiliar with what Gate of Demons is. By the sound of things, this sounds like Gamma Blade. Uh, Gate of Demons. No. Oh. Oh. It's his Fireball. Oh, okay. So what? What was the change here? This is a really strong move. Yeah, Gate of Demons ground here. This is a really, really strong move. This is like this is one of the main things that Seox that makes Seox's pressure so scary. Projectiles now disappear upon getting hit. Okay, there's definitely been some some cases where you know he'll he'll uh, the projectile will just hit you after you hit him. Anyways, so that's good, I guess. When it comes from the ground, the first hit now launches the opponent. This, so this is what I'm talking about with uh, Catalina, where I thought her launching on her H projectile was actually kind of a nerf. This is a nerf to Seox, I think, because this I think basically is going to shorten his combos, right? So I, I, I'm I not uh, super good at the Seahawks combo, so I can't, I can't really show you. But the, the point is, if when this connected, I, so I, not not off of that, but I'm pretty sure Seahawks could get some pretty long combos off of this, off of the ground, because it didn't launch you and it led into, it. again, combo limit, which is a thing in this game, only starts counting up once the opponent is launched. So this might this might really be a case where uh, Seahawks combos have been have been nerfed slightly here by this. So again, not actually, does, does he, would he usually just uh, do the... Uh, I can't, I can't remember. Maybe this isn't that big of a deal. Maybe maybe his combos didn't involve. Maybe you weren't grounded by the time that uh, that that came out on the combo. What's where? Where's the? Uh, God, I'm, unfortunately, I'm unfamiliar. I'm unfamiliar enough with Seox's combo routing that I can't say with any sort of authority, right? But uh, but that, that might be a nerf to his ability to combo with that move, right? The opponent is now knocked higher into the air. Projectile on superior upon getting hit. Increased recovery time upon landing landing after a whiff by six frames. Oh, that's that's a big deal. Uh, so if he if he throws that out all willy nilly now and the projectile doesn't connect, he's gonna be in a much bigger danger. Uh, Gate of Demons mid air increased recovery time upon landing. Same thing. Yeah. So this is the, the air fireball. There's also still I mean air fireball, right? You know how it is. It's very strong, right? But okay, this is that. Those are those are nerfs. Those are nerfs for sure. Void claws terminus. 
fix an issue where Seahawks wouldn't become invincible until after the first hit was landed. Is that his super skybound dart? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's a skybound dart. He wouldn't become invincible until after the first hit. This didn't have invincibility on it? Is that real? I guess so. So that's a bug fix for him. Okay, so I mean, nerfing, to, nerfing that EX fireball there, what seems like, I think, decent, like, nerfing both its usefulness as a pressure option and as a combo option and as something to just throw out belligerently in neutral there. Those are, those are decent nerfs to Seahawks. He's still probably, again, my, my, my feeling with a lot of this is that this is not enough for any of these characters, right? Like, they're probably, I don't even know, is this going to change up how, like, no one who got buffed so far, I'm like, oh my god, they jump up seven spots in the tier list, and no one who got nerfed so far, I'm like, oh god, they're gone. Which means, it's like, the point of a balance patch is not to kill characters, right? But, like, does the, does the tier list still look exactly the same? It's hard to say. Obviously, it's too early to say, and these changes could have much more far-reaching effects than we realize, but uh, my, my, a lot of it just feels like this is not enough. A lot of it feels like it's not enough so far. But we'll see, we'll see. Anila. Anila is a character who could definitely use some help. Her dash H causes a wall bounce on counter hit, even from mid-screen. Oh, okay, sure, sure. We can probably get a good follow-up on that whenever she counter-hits you with it. Fine. Uh, increased knockback when blocked, so it's probably a little bit safer for her now, right, too? So that's good. Uh, flock to the future. Uh, I think this is... Is this her... Is this her you sheep They buffed you sheep You're kidding. No way, right? There's no way. I, I Just by the name, I assume it's it's, it's her you sheep but I'm not I'm not certain. Character guide. No, okay, that's Fluff'em Stuff'em. Flock to the future is... Oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So the ultimate version of this, up close, now starts up at 11 frames, right? And increased recovery time when blocked makes it more... Oh, okay. Interesting. And reduced knock... Whoa, it's a... It's a nerf? They nerfed Anila? Am I stupid? So this is punishable on block now. I... And it's... It... It's faster. That's good. Right? So maybe it's, it's more usable in combos. It's more usable as a, as a way to catch people out in neutral, perhaps. But it's punishable on block. Landing a hitch from mid-screen, and he launches foe straight up, making it easier. Okay, okay, so it's like a nerf in exchange for a bunch of buffs. So it's faster, so it's easier to land that hit mid-screen, and then when you land the hit mid-screen, you can get a combo, seemingly. Fix an issue where the second hit would whiff when combo was reached. Okay, sure. Uh, oof, that still isn't... Like, why would... They didn't need to do this. They could have done all of this, I feel like, and not done this. Maybe I'm being crazy, but I, did Anila need nerfs? I think Anila was bottom five. But I guess this is still good overall. They, they, it's kind of like Honore where they made the move do less damage, but they made it easier to combo. Overall, this move is better now. But this is a crazy... I, did, I was not expecting to see any nerfs on Anila, it tells you what. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, reduce knockback. That might, even, that might even place you in range of people's proximity normals now. So that's six frame... This, you're going to get like fully comboed for getting this blocked, no? Oh, God. Ramification. <laughs> this kill now activates sooner in 15 frames instead of 17. And Anila now moves faster right before the hitbox activates. Which one is Ramification? Ramification is... Oh, her unique. Yes, I see. Okay, so this activates... It's it's quicker now, I suppose. Maybe maybe it's... Uh, there there maybe might have been positions where there were gaps in a block string where she used this, but it's not anymore. And maybe it's also just better to, to I don't know, catch people out doing certain things. And she moves faster right before the hitbox activates. Sure, sure. Uh, it's, it's a buff, right? But that is... What the hell? I'm just like, I'm sorry. We, like, we didn't... We didn't touch... I, I, don't, I don't mean to be negative, but it just feels like... We didn't touch Zeta's ultimate skills. They said, uh, you know, oh, we're not nerfing ultimate skills, guys. We are only buffing ultimate skills that seem like they were not good enough, right? Which I, I suppose this fits under that bill, right? They said, we're not nerfing Zeta's ultimate skill, but we are making Anila's ultimate skill punishable on block. Am I missing something? I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little confused. I will say, I'm a little confused. Okay, so, oh, wow, that is, that is not a lot. Siegfried, I think, by the way, for my money, I think Siegfried is the second best character in the game, and he's right up there with Nier, right? So I'm not seeing a whole lot is Siegfried L. Uh, I almost this almost certainly means Dash L, right? So I made a... Yeah, yeah, I think... I guess it's almost universally the, the Dash L, but it, <laughs> it says Siegfried L, but no, it's, it's Dash L. Reduce distance traveled, okay. And then Verdrangen U. The duration of the skill has been reduced from three frames to one frame. Recovery time has been changed from 24 to 26. Is this the... Uh, is this his guard break setup? If that's if that got nerfed to make it not uh, a guaranteed hit like that, that might actually be quite, kind of useful. Let's see. Uh, Siegfried, Siegfried, Siegfried. There he is. I, I think this is uh, them nerfing his, like, guaranteed guard crush setup there that can be a very... It's one of the nastiest things the character's got. So this is, yeah, 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 looks like it. Yeah, so this, I, I assume that... Uh, I, I can't... I don't I don't know the math offhand. Basically, I assume that making that last two frames less means that uh, that big... Uh, what's it called? That big unblockable setup where uh, Seahawks... Siegfried hits you, like, five times in the corner with the close cell, right? He just kind of juggles you to get you higher up into the air and then does the unblockable. Right now... You could, your best option is to either you have to DP that if you've got it, right? Or you can spot dodge it and get thrown, guaranteed, or you can block it and get unblockabled. And, or if you get counter hit by it, God forbid, you die. It is like the highest damage starter in the entire game, it feels like, right? 
So this is a nerf. This very well may have a recovery time increase too. So if, if he if he does uh, whiff it, I suppose, or if you spot dodge, it'll be easier to punish, right? But this uh, they might have. I think this means they removed Siegfried's unblockable setup. That is not obviously. So the the real like one of the one of the real big things with, with Siegfried, right, is uh, that right there, which remains completely untouched, right? But interesting. Again, we're nerfing you skills. But it seems like we're not you're nerfing a lot of the use skills. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 this is a good change. Though. This is a good change, right? Um, I think I think that is actually that is a meaningful nerf to Siegfried there. It, uh, it that that unblockable setup felt a little bit cheesy sometimes for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's get so near. Obviously, everyone everyone wants to watch uh, wants to watch see what uh, what happened to near, right? Well, we we got there. So let us see. Okay, so five changes, but misfortunes of DP. Let's see. Long range L. This is the universal buff. Sure, her dash L got nerfed. She had maybe the best one in the game, or at least up there. So this makes sense, right? Misfortune, except you. So all the DPs except the ultimate version. Reduce the hitbox bottom to no longer connect against crossovers. So you can roll this now. Reduce the hitbox on the inner side and is now less likely to connect when overlapping with death. So if you are, oh god. So what happens a lot of the times, right? So uh, let's let's we can we can we can quickly take a look at this, right? So if I bring out near right here, right? What will happen a lot of the times historically, right? Is like you are like right in near's face doing block pressure, right? So let me, let me set her to do it maybe uh, as a counterattack setting on block, right? So counter on block, let's set her to do Misfortune H, I suppose, right? So uh, yeah, there you go. So now if we if we have her block something, right? There you go. Yeah, so right there, right? So what that happens a lot with this character, right? Is you're just, you're just like doing pressure, you get called out by uh, by her DPing in the middle of your pressure. And as you can see, I'm overlapping with death right there, right? Like I'm, I'm very much on, kind of on death there. So if you're really, really up close to her in some way, shape or form, so like if, if I do something like that, right? Like where I was, where I was basically sticking to her there. Does the DP whiff now? That's a big, big deal. Uh, that for for one of what seems to be multiple, and that you can you can roll it too, which is not you know it's not huge, but it it's something, right? That it gives you another option to beat it. Hitbox when guard point is activated. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 no. There you go. Hitbox when guard point is activated is unchanged. But I guess if you don't uh, hit it, right? Then then it's uh, it's smaller. So if he does call you out to something here, the hitbox will be unchanged. But otherwise, it'll still be smaller if you're not overlapping with her. Miss. Oh. Oh god, they did do this. This was oh wow. God, that this is massive. This is this is actually Call me crazy. Call me crazy. This might be too much. I know, I know. Oh my god, too much? What do you mean? Right? But like that's So I I initially that this was my desire for the move. I wanted misfortune to not be bufferable into other skills. Well, what this means by the way, uh, she can no longer co combo off her DP. Right? If, if she starts with DP, if you get hit with DP, she can't combo off, right? Which is good in the sense that DP is no, almost nobody else in the, in the game gets a DP off of an invincible move, right? Or gets a combo rather off of an invincible move. But like, fine. Oh, okay, no, no. This, this is fine. Okay, never mind. But to start a sequence. So they can, yes. Sorry. Other skills can still include Misfortune in a sequence of upward skills. This is clever. Okay. Because what I was going to say, the reason this feels like it was too much is this also hurts a lot of her combo routes where DP is in the starter, but they can go. I need to read this orange text. It's actually very important. So, okay. No, this is actually... Okay. Yeah, they did it. Wow. Near DP has been killed, guys. It's actually, believe it or not, kind of below average now because it doesn't lead to a combo and it loses to throws. It's meatless still, so it's good, but her DP is actually one of the worst DPs in the game now. God damn. That is, they just shot her right in the heart. By the way, Nier is still going to be very strong. Don't get me wrong, right? But like, damn, that is, they went for the kill with that move. God damn. Okay. And the heavy version activates sooner. Okay, okay. So now, now it's, ooh. This probably means you can't safe jab that anymore, huh? There's a lot of instances where Ladiva, for example, you could, you could run up hit a meaty close L. And even though the guard point activated, you could actually block and punish. You probably can't do that anymore. But who cares? Because that's leading into a DP or it's leading into a combo. So that's, I mean, that's a good buff, I think, right? But holy crap. Anyway, ominous turn you. That's the ultimate uh, bonus not blocking or being hit. The rear hitbox on death has been removed except on activation. As a result, it should not be used to cross over or evade. I, it's my understanding. This is like one of the other moves that Nier has that's like super, super strong, right? It's, uh, is it, uh, is it? No, it's not that. Is it this? I think it's this. I think this is ominous turn, right? Let's uh, let's quickly switch our own character to, or no, I think we can, we can still check the character guide here for Nier, right? Yes. Yeah, so ominous turn. Yeah, yeah. So it's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this, this move was crazy. This was like guaranteed neutral win for near, right? So now if you spot dodge it, death does not have a hitbox so, uh, on the back, right? So if, if, if death just like sails right by you, right? So right now, I think uh, if, if the way this works, right? So even if I do spot dodge this, if we have her, if we ever do it again, right? Yeah, you see that? Like I, it's, it still just blows me up, right? No, basically, it's very hard to actually 
Okay, yeah, so if you, if you do it up close, it works right now. But now it's basically never going to, to blow you up there if you spot dodges. That's, that's a, that, that move's been nerfed too. And the recovery's been increased by six frames. God damn, that was like Nier's best neutral tool and her best defensive option, I feel like. <clears throat> like, don't get me wrong. Nier is by far the, like, she's, she's the strongest character in the game. And, she, and these nerfs needed to happen. But like, is Siegfried just the, Siegfried's just the best character in the game free now? Is Seox better than Nier now? Like, is, is is Lancelot better than Nier? Is Belial? We have to see what happens to Belial, but, like, Siegfried is just the undisputed best character in the game, I feel like, now. This, obviously, his, his unblockable setup being removed is, 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 a, is a nerf, but, like, who, that's not what... He's still... He's still again, like, we're, we're nerfing... We're nerfing this move from Nier, right? And I, I don't mean to be a Nier defender here, but we're nerfing this move from Nier that costs 50 meter and is an instant neutral win when Seox can do it meterless? No nerfs to that move. Nier, though, we gotta make sure we get Nier. That's... Don't, okay, okay. Let, 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 me, let me let me try not to be too negative here. This is good. This needed to happen. Misfortune was just over. It was to call it over tuned. It was JP Amnesia from Street Fighter Six, but it was better, right? So th this nerf needed to happen. Th that's good, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, Beelzebub, no buffs, nerfs, anything like that. I think he's in that range. Yeah, he just. Oh, I think he's 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 solid enough. Near getting nerfed. Siegfried getting kind of nerfed. Lancelot getting kind of nerfed. Like these, all these top tiers getting nerfed will help Beelzebub out more so than him actually getting any buffs. Belial. Fix an issue where the opponent closes the gap after an unsuccessful throw. Belial will perform the throw animation without a hitbox. Belial, technically this is a puff for all sorts of purposes. Belial's untouched, huh? Wow. Yeah. Um, Belial is also maybe... What the hell? Belial's untouched entirely. This, this, for my money, is the fifth best character in the game right now. I like Before the patch, I think it went near Siegfried, a little bit of a gap, and then Seox and then Lancelot, and then Belial. And he just... Nothing. No nerfs. At all. Huh? I, I'm... A Neela's U move is punishable on block now. Belial gets a bug fix that actually, in some edge cases, will make him better. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Avatar, this I think also is in contention for worst character in the game. Let's see what they give him. Uh, rejected Truth L, Carnal Passion M, Carnal Passion H. What is Rejected Truth? You like that's five frames sooner is a really big deal, whatever it is. Uh, what, 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 uh, uh by, by the way, by the way, just looking at it right now, Avatar Belial is still, the, like, the worst character in the game. Actually, with the Percival buffs, I think Avatar is now undisputed worst character in the game, because it doesn't look like they increase his health, right? They did not increase his health, so that's really, no matter how good you make his tools, he has, like, 11,000 health to play with. He's got 14,000, and every time he does a Pax follow-up, it takes 800. He does do about three to four times a match. So Avatar has 11,000 health to play with. That is nothing. So the fact that they didn't change that, he's, he's still, he's, I think he's now, no matter what these buffs are, probably, I think he's probably undisputed worse in the game at this point. But let's see, let's see. What is Rejected Truth and Carnal Passion? I don't know the names off the top of my head. Yeah, so that's the projectile. So his light projectile now starts up five frames sooner, huh? Oh, yeah, let's please near, stop beating me up. So I assume that probably means, uh, is it, was, it, was it like difficult to combo off of before? Yeah, so maybe maybe even off like a, yeah, off like a medium hit or something like that. This is, oh, no, I guess it's, it's still... It's, yeah, so depending on how much recovery is on this. Yeah, I think, for example, he can just, like, combo into this. That's, I mean, that's good, right? That is good, because this way he doesn't have to spend health. I guess that is, it makes his pack follow-ups less necessary. So this, in a way, is a health buff to Avatar. Like, right? so probably off of a medium hit, or maybe even off of a light hit? Yeah, maybe even off of a light hit. It looks like that's about eight frames of recovery, right? Or eight frames of active and recovery, basically. So you might be able to combo off of this off of a light, but for sure off of a medium. Right, so that, that that is at least that is in in a, in a way an indirect health buff because Avatar always started his combos with this, right? Because it was it was good damage and it, it left people standing, which is good for combo limit, right? Avatar was able to play around with combo limit more than almost anybody in the whole video game. So this is this is, this is technically Avatar has like sixteen hundred more health, I guess. That's actually fair. That is actually a buff. That is actually a, a sizable buff. Uh, Carnal Passion M and H. Is this the uh, is this the, like the the back attack the Rekka as it were? Uh, yes, yeah. So what is medium now starts up sooner. One frame sooner. I wonder. I wonder if this matters. I wonder if there was a combo route for him or something that was like one frame off of connecting and, and can now connect. Right? I'm not sure. And then the M version extended distance traveled. Okay. This is like the most meaningful buff. I feel like maybe if this makes it again. If this is another scenario where Avatar does not have to, because using his EX skills is what kills him. Right? No health used. Health used. Right? On the EX skill there. So if, if that M follow-up is another situation where Avatar doesn't have to use an EX skill in a combo, if both of those are the case, those are actually sizable buffs to Avatar. Because that is actually giving him like, you know, that is actually giving him like 1,600 to 2,000 more health, which is what he needs. 
right? So maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. The, the buffs are more meaningful than I thought. We'll have to see. Those are actually, those are decent. Those are decent. I think he probably could have even used more, right? But those are actually not so bad. Those are not so bad. Uh, 2B, I mean, there's no way. Look at it. Are they nerfing? Like, he's, I feel like they're, we don't know anything about this character. Wait, is Lucillus not even on this list? They forgot Lucillus? There's literally no changes to Lucillus? No, no. Is Lucillus not on here? No. Cool. He literally doesn't, doesn't even get like a, he doesn't even get like a far L extended. Maybe he didn't, I guess his far L is really good. He didn't need it. There's literally no changes to Lucillus. That's funny. 2B. Gauge recovery speed has been reduced while opponent is blocking or being hit. Ooh, she gets her skill gauge, ba uh, skill gauge back slower, huh? Okay, okay. Multi-strike reduces the amount of skill gauge recovered on hit. Standing M extends the hitbox forward prior to activation. Whoa. So her, her... Did they mean hurtbox? Is this like more punishable on startup or is this even bigger now? Because she already had some really, really big normals in the, uh, in, in the neutral. Evasive maneuver. Fix an issue where switching places with the opponent. The skill would end midway despite pressing the directional button. Okay. And then A130 bomb. Reduced hit stop on all but the final hit to 8 frames. This is intended to fix an issue where opponents were unable to form a brave counter on all but the final hit. A130 bomb. Is that her... Uh... That, is that the all the, the use skill version of uh, of her uh, the, all the little the little balls there? I guess that's been nerfed. You don't necessarily have to hold two B's pressure for quite as for quite as long. I think so, right? I think that's what that means. Um. Okay. 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 A one thirty bomb. It is. Uh. Is it not? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's this. Yeah. Yeah. So you can. I guess you couldn't brave counter. Oh yeah. yeah that that should makes sense. I feel like I have experienced this. So now you can brave counter on any of the hits. Sure. I guess. Uh, I am so that that is a very scary pressure tool. It's made slightly worse. To be definitely nerfed overall, it feels like. But all right, so that's uh, that's the patch. Very odd. I feel like in summary, honestly, I feel like in summary, they did not. It's it, it's a little tame, right? So so with with one big exception, they shot near in the head. Everyone else got off. Is there any other top tier that I feel like actually got, like, this is like the second most meaningful nerf, I feel like, in this entire patch, right? Because, again, I think this removes Siegfried's unblockable setup. But, like, Siegfried is totally, this, this, I guess, is bad. This is probably bad, right? Again, if this, if this messes with Seox's combo strings, it'll be worse for him, right? But, again, that, the more I think about it, I think actually Seox used to hit you while you were already in the air with this. I don't think he would, if the, the, the combo starter was Rekka a lot of the time. I think, I, I believe so. Um... Blile completely unchanged. Lancelot, for all intents and purposes, unchanged, right? Like, this is not really that big of a deal. And this, like, this thing never whiffed anyway. I mean, if you jump over it, I guess, but... I don't know, man. Um, yeah, I feel like they didn't do enough. Except, again, here, they just... They just like, this almost feels like too much. Like, Nier got nerfed too much, considering how little everyone else got touched, but... This, I, I mean, this is still good. This is still, I mean, this right now is probably the single biggest problem with the entire game was near DP and they killed it. So that's fair. That's fair. If, if that was, if there was one thing that had to happen in this balance patch, it was this and it did. So I guess, I guess that's fair, right? I guess it's nice that you can't safe jab her DP anymore. This is probably six frame sooner. Probably means that you can't safe jab this realistically, right? So, wow. Okay. Well. That has been the 1.30 patch here for Grand Blue. I hope you guys uh, yeah, let me let me know if there's anything that I'm not uh, any character specialist. If there's anything that was either a bigger deal than I like, give it credit, give it credit for, or not a big uh, not as big of a deal as I gave it credit for, please let me know in the comments below. But it's a weird patch. It's a weird patch. Near that that feels like what people would expect to see from a patch for Near. But like again, she like he's still probably really she's still really good, right? But like look, like you know, you could have touched uh, some of the other boys a little bit too. Who knows? Anyways, with all that being said, uh, you know how it is. I'm going to run you guys through the outro here now. So if you made it this far in the video, it's a long one, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Then I got four things for you. You know how it is. For number one, uh, join the Discord server. It's a nice place. You want to go in there and tell me how wrong I was about all of these patch notes? Then by all means, you can head in there and uh, and take a look. So uh, you, there's a link in the description down there for you. It's a nice place. You can hang about, talk about Relink, talk about Rising, talk about fighting games in general, talk about gotcha games, talk about art, talk about music. It's just a good place to hang out and, uh, and have a good time, right? So I implore you to join, but I also implore you to please keep it to the nice and welcoming place it currently is. Uh, so far, we haven't realized to do any sort of moderation or anything like that, but I, if I have to ban somebody, I will ban somebody. So just don't let that be you, okay? For number two, if you like the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. Don't cost you nothing. Glaves out the channel. I appreciate it a lot, of course, while you're there. For number three, hit the subscribe button, that bell button. They are all the way over there. Keep you up to date with all this uh, content I'm throwing at you every day. We got three videos coming out every single day, and it's somewhere between two and a half to like five hours of content, depending on the day. So once you have all that free time to dedicate to little old me, then make sure to hit those two buttons, figure out when something new is uploaded, get a notification, right? And then maybe go back and watch it later when you've got a minute. And of course, so number four, most importantly, more important than whatever button just smashed or whatever YouTube-friendly interaction to hit me with, I appreciate those. But 
I hope you had a great time hanging out today, most of all. I know I sure did, right? It's, it, I feel weird about these patch notes, right? But I don't think they're bad overall. <laughs> overall, my, 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 besides Nier, my, I think my, my gut feeling is still that not enough was done to buff the low tiers and not enough was done to nerf the high tiers. But this is going to be, uh, this is going to make a big difference. It's going to make a big difference. This might make a big difference. We, we shall see. We shall see. I hope I wasn't too overly negative in this video. It's not normally my uh, my style to be. I, I, I usually try to be, you know, more of a, a positive influence in the community here. But I, I'm, a little, I'm a little confused. Is all. I'm a little confused, Arxis. I, I, I will. I, I, will, I will say. I want to finish off by saying that you never know, right? Things. It's it's really hard to really tell the impact of, except for something like this, right? But except for like something that is so obvious like this, it can be hard to tell the impact of a patch until you actually people get their hands on it and we play with it for a couple of weeks, right? So in my in my head, I might be like, this isn't enough, but who knows. The buffs might matter a lot more than I give them credit for, and the nerfs might matter a lot less than I than I than I give them, or a lot more or less than I give them credit for. We'll have to see, right? With all that being said, I'm having a lot of fun with Rising here. There's gonna be a lot more content coming your way, but until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace!